Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how you can actually create sections and, according to the response, have your users move to that section and then submit their work. So it could be as complicated as you wish it to be. This is a very simple one. I created a form with three multiple choice variables here. It's choose your course uh, full, Congrea only, or WizIQ. So let me show you what I did. First of all, I created sections. And once you create, I created three sections. One for the first option, which is go to section two, and then another section for a second option, which is Congrea only. And the third section I created for WizIQ. So this is what it looks like. As soon as you um, make it a requirement where you want them to go to another section all you need to do is simply open up this area and then you've got continue to next section so for the first one it's continue to section two which is specific only for courses on the moodle second one is to go to the congrea section that i created and the third choice was to go to the WizIQ section. Now notice what happens in each section. When they complete the section over here, the last thing they're going to do, section two, is I'm going to have a submit form. Same thing for the third one. For the fourth one, or WizIQ option, you don't need to add, and there won't be the option of adding a submit. That's automatic. So let me show you how that's done by going into preview. This is how you preview, and you should always test to make sure that things are working. So let's go to preview and let me show you how that's done. I've done this before, so the preview will not erase what I've done. So let's start with a full course. Go to next. Need to add to the subject line. I'm just gonna add something very quickly because I'm screen sharing. Number of students, I need to add number. Duration is also a number. Start date. Notice you need to have the month, the day, and the year is already there, but you can change that, and then submit. And that's it. All right, next. just want to show you that it's working. This is how you do it to make sure. I'm going to choose Congrea, and everything is set up, and it seems to be working. So here it is. The questions are slightly different. I duplicated them because they're the same for both WizIQ and Congrea duration. Okay, two. I'm going to add the date again. Month, day, and the year is there. Submit. So it seems to be working fine. And the third one is my choice WizIQ. Now, as I said for WizIQ, for the last choice, you don't need to add submit as your last page. It's not going to appear because it's the last item. So my answer is duration of the course, number, the month, and the year. This is what you'll have to do each and every time to make sure that the system looks like what you want it to look like. All right, so let's go back here. And um, so we've got everything set up. I showed you. This is how you duplicate things. You can move things around, which makes it really easy with this. Move things around. It's very, very easy to manage. And I wanted to show you that after Congrea, if I go to Congrea, the last item, notice, I'll have to add, you'll see this after three, and you'll open it up and you decide where to go after three. But on WizIQ, because it's the last item, there's nothing here to show you. You don't need to go into submit. Here too, after section two, it'll ask you to choose. And of course, I choose. you can have as many sections and page, well, pages, sections as you wish. You just add a section here and you use it according to the choices that they make. Hope this has been of help. Just one more thing that when you go into the send and you decide to choose a link, shorten it. Okay, it's not, it's there for a reason. Sometimes the long links don't work. And um, those you share it with will get error messages that the page doesn't exist and things like that. 
So shorten it, and that's how you share it with your students. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to provide you with the information. I've been using uh, Google Forms for a number of years, so I consider myself quite experienced, but I'm happy to learn. So your questions will help me find answers. Thank you so much.